Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of data analysis, specifically how we can represent data in a box plot, and we'll do it in 5 minutes or less. So a box plot, sometimes you might have heard it called a box and whisker plot, but it is a strange way, but it's actually very useful, to represent large sets of data. So if you look at all these numbers we have on the screen, we have 12 different data sets here, two rows of six, and we are going to create a box and whisker plot or a box plot. In order to do that, first we need to go ahead and set up our numbers in order. So sometimes you might see it and they're already in order. If not, go ahead and just put them in order. So I'm gonna do that for us real quick. And we're just gonna order them from least to greatest. So we've got 14, we've got two 15s. We've got a 16, looks like we jump to 19, 19, 20, 21, and 22. All right, so what we can figure out with our box plot first is we are gonna figure our minimum and our maximum value. And we're gonna use that for our number line here. So that's gonna be our minimum, and this is going to be our maximum. So let's go ahead and put that here on our number line. We're just counting up from 12, and we're just going to count by whole numbers. And once we do that, we are going to be able to then look at the median. Now, the median is a term that hopefully you remember from fifth grade. Median simply means the middle. So I'm going to put that up here. Median, we're looking for the middle number. So let's see, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So my middle is actually right here. I've got six below and I've got six above. Since this is an even data set, that means my middle is actually going to be the average between my 15 and my 16. Sometimes it's gonna be a whole number. In this case, my median is actually going to be 15.5. So it is possible for you to have a median that is actually not even a part of your data set. So that is going to be my median. My middle number is going to be 15. Now that we have our minimum, we have our median, and we have our maximum, we only need two more pieces of information before we can plot this on our number line. So let's look at our bottom half from 12 all the way up to 15. We're gonna cut that in half again. This is a number set of six. So once again, this bottom and this second quartile right here is actually gonna come right between here, 13.5. So you see I've got a set of three, I've got a set of three, we wanna divide them evenly. And then I'm gonna do the same thing up here. Once again, it looks like it's actually gonna be a number in between the two numbers on our data set. So I've got 13.5 and I've got 19.5 separating my top and my bottom quartile. Now let's see what we can do to put that on the number line. So how we begin is we go ahead and plot our data points, the five that we have up above our number line right here. So I've got my 12, my 13.5, remember my 15.5, that is my median. Then it goes up to 19.5 and then the final is going to be 22. And what we're going to do is we're going to put a vertical line here, and that's going to be my median. And we're also going to put a vertical line here between my 13.5 and my 19.5. And we're going to draw a box around these three middle data points. And then we're going to draw some little lines connecting the minimum and maximum. And that's why sometimes it's called a box and whisker plot, because you have the box here, and then these lines connecting the maximum and minimum sometimes look like whiskers. So what we have here, remember this is our median. This is the 50th percentile. That means this is exactly in the middle of my data set. And this right here is sometimes called the first quartile. So I'll write that over here. First quartile because it is the 25th percentile. That means 25% of the data is below this number right here, 13.5, and 75% is above. And we can say the same thing about this 19.5. It is at the 75th percentile, and sometimes we'll call it the third quartile. 